Welcome back to Falcon Physician Review's online review for USMLE Step 1. This is Microbiology Module 39, the superficial mycoses. We're going to talk about the superficial fungal infections which are clinically seen. We'll talk about Pityriasis rosea, we'll talk about Tinea nigra, and the Piedra, different forms. Welcome back to Falcon Physician Review's online review for USMLE Step 1. This is Microbiology Module 39. We'll discuss the superficial mycoses. Starting out is an overview table which, under, which describes each of the superficial mycoses we will discuss. We we'll talk about the disease, the etiologic agent, the symptoms, and the identification of the organism. We'll start with pityriasis versicolor, which is the disease which is treated topically and with oral medications. It's caused by malassezia fervor. You often have hypopigmented macules. And on microscopy, you'll have a spaghetti and meatballs appearance, which is short septate hyphae and round yeasts. That's a catchphrase that frequently shows up on step one, so you'll want to be familiar with it. Tinea nigra is common. It's treated topically. It's caused by exophilia wernicke. You cause brown, black macules, and you'll find them on the palms and soles. You find, and you'll see young, black, two-celled oval yeast to mold like mature colony. So you've got the two Ys and the two Ms for that. Black piedra is treated topically. It's caused, it's caused by piedria horte, which is a mold. You'll see a black nodule on the hair shaft, and you'll see spore sacs and spores on hair, and you'll get the mycelia on your skin. Soft piedra, or white piedra, is also soft, and that's treated with oral medication. It's caused by trichosporin via jelly, which is a yeast. It causes cream-colored nodules on the hair shaft. Axillae, beard, and groin is where you're going to see these. You'll see arthrospores with hyphae, with arthro and blastoconidia, and this organism is urease positive. Back to Malassezia furfur, this is a figure which shows the hypopigmented macules on this gentleman's chest. Microscopy, you can see the, the spaghetti and meatballs appearance. So these are septate hyphae with budding yeast cells. It requires liquid supplementation for growth, and you'll often see it in catheter-associated sepsis related to lipper, lipid hyperalimentation. Exophalia wernicke causes brown or black macules on the palms and soles as identified in these pictures. Again, here, here we have a picture of P. dryata horte and Trichosporum cuneatum. You'll see the black nodule on the hair shaft. Question. A 25-year-old male presented with depigmented to brownish-red scaly patches on the skin and the arm, his neck, his chest, and his abdomen. The skin scrapings treated with KOH revealed fungal elements with a characteristic spaghetti and meatball appearance. The most likely pathogen is. As we discussed, the key word here is spaghetti and meatballs. It's interesting that some of these food analogies have such a striking description, but that's frequently the way they'll refer to it on step one. Once you see that, you just look for malassezia fervor, which is choice A, and you've got it. The key, again, for the clinical presentation is deep pigmented brownish-red scaly patches on the skin of the arm, neck, chest, and abdomen. That's classic for malassezia fervor. Wrapping up Module 39, we talked about the superficial mycoses. We talked about pityriasis versicolor, which is formed by malassezia fervor. You look for the classic spaghetti and meatballs on the prep. And it also has a characteristic clinical rash that you'll see. We talked about the different types of piedra. We also talked about tinea. Next up in Module 40, we're going to talk about the dermatophytes.